Hello, my name is Terry Berger with Remax. I'm proud to introduce you today to 6103 Braidwood Court. We're going to go inside and have a little chat with the homeowner, and they're going to tell us all about this wonderful home. I hope you can come and visit. Thanks. The house is that uh, I'm being relocated for my job, and um, uh, we've been here about six and a half years, and we really love the area. We love uh, love the neighborhood, uh, love everything about it, but. Uh, um, like I say, with, uh, with job relocation, it's uh, time to move on. Um, you know what? We have never lived on a cul-de-sac. And I have to, I mean, when we saw that it was on a cul-de-sac, we had two, two babies then. And uh, we wanted to be able to um, have them play without worrying about the traffic and all that. So mm -hmm. it was, it's funny because it, as when we drove up to the house and the location, we were like, great. We kind of had an idea what it looked like from the pictures, but when we walked in, it had green carpet, wallpaper everywhere. And um, the kitchen had green and white vinyl. <laughs> vinyl. And, uh, and Rick's like, we, we can work with this. And I'm like, are you sure? It's got good bones. <laughs> it's got good bones. And then we walked upstairs and saw those bedrooms. And they were so, I mean, they're huge. So over the last seven years, we've put hardwoods in, um, had the, the cabinets professionally painted, and then the granite. Um, we redid the basement even though it had been finished. Oh, and hey, hey guys, this, the garage area is incredible. Um, in two ways. First of all, you've got the uh, what we call the little media room down there uh, that we've got wired with speakers, and uh, uh, and then that walks right out into the uh, the large uh, basement drive, uh, unfinished portion of the basement, which uh, comes in from the second driveway. Uh, it's got a workshop down there, a workbench. Um, it's plenty of room if you're into uh, woodworking, if you're into working with cars or motorcycles, there's plenty of space to, uh, to do all that. So I think it's just a, a guy's dream basement. And then for the, on the other side of that, it leaves the upstairs garage to be totally clean and just have your cars That's in true. there. <laughs> so. Our kids really use that garage a lot. You know, they roller skate anytime it's, uh, it's uh, you know raining or anything like that. They're in their roller skate and a roller blade or anything like that. So yeah, I think that provides a, a, a an area that most homes this neighborhood don't have the ability to do. The schools in West Cobb are incredible. We've um, we've been so pleased. We were really nervous. Both kids start at kindergarten at Vaughn, and of course we were we cried at the bus stop, <laughs> and uh, so did they. She cried at the bus stop. <laughs> but um, the teachers. At Vaughn are incredible. They've um, they care about the kids. And something I found out when I started, I started back at Kennesaw State to get um, certified to teach middle school is that I've had four professors and all, they live in this district. Their kids go to Lost Mountain and Harrison. So of all, you know, for people, for professionals to say that's where I want my kids to go to school, I think is um, absolutely says yeah. a lot too. In 2009, we uh, had a new roof put on. Um, it, it also has a uh, hardy plank concrete siding. What do you call it? The gutters are. Uh, they have the gutter guards. Gutter on guards on, on the. We also have a newer. I think it was in 2009. Uh, air conditioning unit for the upstairs. Mm -hmm. We have copper piping. Whereas a lot of homes in the neighborhood have got the polybutylene, and so people are uh, having to have the, have that changed out and swapped out. And ours is already. Has already uh, has already been. We're really move-in ready. I mean, right. it's not. There's not much you have to do. No. 